Okay, so now all you need is a bowl. I have a little bit of soap in here. I'm going to pour this soap in here. Try to do this with one hand. You don't need that much, okay? Just a little bit of soap. Shake it like a salt, shake it, shake it like a salt, shake it, shake it like a salt, shake it. Let's see if I can get a little soap. Sorry. I'm trying to do all this with my hand. Okay. Now, these are the masks that my family and I wore already. Wait. It's a glove. Okay, here. I'm going to put this in here. Okay. This is the mask. See how it has the filter on the inside? That's my lipstick. <laughs> Put that in here. Okay. So you see I got the mask in here. Got a little bit of soap. Got it in a bowl. You don't want to use hot water. Just some uh, like lukewarm, more to hot. Because these are delicate, so you, you don't want to put these in a washing machine. This one is pretty dirty. It's been sitting around. Remember, they said soap and water, bubbles and water. Let me see. Swishy swashy a little bit. Swishy swashy, make those bubbles, make those bubbles. Swishy swashy. Then you wanna just let it soak for a while. But definitely make those bubbles because that's what's gonna get it clean. But very delicately. See that? It's coming out. Uh, my husband said you can wear these type of masks up to 15 times before you throw them in the garbage. If you're wearing them on a normal basis, I know on his job he wears these every day. But if you're not going to use these masks every day, uh, you see? If you're not going to use these masks every day, then you can definitely get more than 15 wears out of these. Just don't squeeze it. Don't wring it out. You just want to make bubbles because the bubbles is what's going to kill the germs. And get... See? This was the dirtiest one. These weren't that dirty, but just from my mind, every time we go to the supermarket, at least two times, I'm like, okay, let me let me let me uh, rinse this out so that I can get it clean. So I think that's a, all the water I'm gonna. I might let me just put a little bit more because my bowl is so big. But I put it in a bowl just in case if anyone has to use the bathroom and wash their hands, they can use it without this being in the way. I don't want nobody washing their hands in here. I just want this to soak. You see that, guys? See? So even, because, you know, a lot of us on tight budgets, you have, if you treat your mask right, you'll be able to get more than 15 wears out of this, for sure. Especially if you don't wear it every day. If you're in the house, if everybody's on quarantine, if, if you're laid off, because nowadays everybody's laid off just about, unless you're an essential worker, just gently wash your mask, like I do exactly what I'm doing to make the bubbles, because remember, the bubbles is what kills the virus. This is my second time washing it. I just thought I would do a video 
because someone might need this video out there. It could be helpful to someone. So that's why I'm doing it. See, a little bit of soap, a lot of bubbles. A little bit of soap, a lot of bubbles. Use my favorite detergent. I love that. <laughs> It smells so good. It smells so good. Okay. And then you want to just let this soak for a little bit, like maybe five minutes or so. You can't even tell which one my lipstick was in. Let me see. Piece of here. Let me see. Ooh. Piece of here up in there. This is the one my lipstick was in. Just little side motions, little side motions. Get them bubbles going. See, coming out. Now we use our mask two times. Uh, when we go to the store, sometimes we take the kids to the store, the big ones, not my baby. You know, just for a little walk, you know, get some air. And I make sure they put their masks on in the store. We don't walk outside with it. Unless there's a crowds of people, but there's not really any crowds of people what well, it haven't been since we've been out but if we do see him then you know we'll put our mask on but really we just make sure we take our masks and gloves if we have any right now we ran out to the store we tell the children don't you touch anything and we let them wear their masks and then buy our groceries or whatever And just rinse your hands off. Okay. Now. Okay. So, as I was saying, these Himalayan salt lamps I purchased from Walmart. Now, these things are so good. They come in different sizes, shapes, designs, okay? They purify the air in your house. You can put them in a bathroom, you can put them in a bedroom, you can put them anywhere you want in your house. Mainly, if you only have one, or I don't know how many rooms your house may have, get a big enough one and put it where your family sits most. It comes with a little switch here where you can control the temperature, I mean, you can control the high, the brightness of the lamp. Let me cut the light off so you can see. See, it's off now. It is daytime, but you know, it's off right now. Now I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. You see that? And as the heat, as the light heats up the salt, it purifies the air in your house. Now, I've always, so as I was saying, you can put this in any room in your house and where everyone sits the, sits together the most and let everybody inhale the properties of this. Now, let me just show you. I bought this in the bathroom so you guys can see, but I'm going to show you where I keep my other one, right in the back of the house. See how beautiful that is? And I keep the other one up there. in the front of the house and it just goes all through the house and purifies it so once again i mean i'm not you don't have to get it but if you like me and need a peace of mind knowing that you are going to go to the store and come back in the house go outside come back in go supermarket go to the supermarket come back in once again for me this is a peace of mind knowing that as we take our showers and wash our clothes we can sit down and inhale the properties of this this lamp 
Oh, and uh, for this style, it was $22, and for the other one, was it was $15 something, $15.99. Okay, now I'm moving kind of fast because my camera is so full, I don't have a lot of space. Okay, guys, so I think, what, five minutes pass. So what you want to do is squishy, squashy again, squishy, squashy, squishy, squashy, squishy, squashy. Mm-hmm. Took my braids out, so I got hair all over the place. <laughs> but as you can see, it's pretty clean. Mm -hmm. Came out pretty clean. Right? So you want to do this. You know, your last go. As you can see, even the dirtiest one became very clean which is a good thing that's why i said if you're not using it every day if you're home now and you're only going to the supermarket what once a week we only go to the supermarket like once a week right now and then we may go to the store you don't really need to wash them or wear them that much and if you're not touching anything just be very careful when I'm not using it, once we use it and come back from the store, what I do is I usually put them in a plastic bag. I don't put them with anything else. I put them in a plastic bag and leave it there. Okay, so now I'm fixing the water to lukewarm to rinse it. Because I had it soaking. I made bubbles. Let it soak for a while. Pour out that. Okay, so now I'm just rinsing it. You don't squeeze it. Just rinse. That's it. Just rinse it. See that? See how clean that is? You see the shape? Mm-hmm. Rinse it really good. Rinse. Okay, but place it back in the bowl. Rinse. See how clean it came? And you saw all that dirt on there. So don't be discouraged and just throw it away. Wash it and see what happens. Yeah, and I did not use bleach. Just soap and water. Any kind of soap you want. You don't need a whole heaping amount. Okay. And once you rinse it out really good. Turn off your water. I did some laundry. I'm going to show you guys. Okay, let me just take this off the hanger real quick. Okay. Hang them on the hanger. Let me see if I could do this with one hand. Let's see. Okay. Take this. Just like this. You want to hang it just like that. You got hair all over the place. And just hang them up. See? Hang it up. Just like that. And take the next one. Hang it up just like that. And I'm going to take the last one and do the same thing. Okay? Just hang it up. 
and let it air dry. Let it air dry and that's it. Then it'll be ready to use next time. So I hope this video was helpful to someone out there on how to wash your mask, clean your mask and rinse. And um, y'all stay blessed, safe, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.